zero point seven zero seven. So this simplification you should know very well. Calculation I have explained why square root. You have to remember and you have to practice the problems. Okay. Then coming to the calculation of portfolio return, the formula summation of x i into alpha plus beta into market return. So stock A, B, C, D. Summation. So straight away I find the value for the internal portfolio. Instead of substituting for number of lines, I am going by column wise to make your work easier. Is it clear for everyone? Yes, sir. Beta value I take here. Zero point nine one three zero point five seven seven. 0.707 for both C and D. When you are going for the weights, we have to look into the problem and check it out. What are the weights given? If not given, equal only. If not given, equal only. So what is given here? Consisting of equal portion of stocks A, B, C, and D. Correct, na? So note. Equal stocks that is equal to one by four zero point two five. Correct, na? Yes, yes sir. No. Yes, sir. So I will take weights. Here you get uh, 8.84 8, 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 
Okay. Now we have found this value. We have a weight. We have to multiply this with the weights. So it becomes easy. At a time you want to multiply, you can do. You can avoid this. You can avoid this. Right away you can go for this formula. No problem. But to reduce the calculation, avoid the wrong in calculation, I am going by one extra step. That's it. So here, 0 0.25 into 10.896. See, multiplication here number becomes easy. If you can, if you want to put all the formula, entire formula once again, put it and you can substitute and find the answer. But it should not go wrong. That is why I have done one extra step, nothing else. 